Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the channel. I was literally about to go to bed and I wanted to check Discord just one last time before I passed out and I the data mine was out and it came out so, so fast. You fiend throw away, fantastic job getting this out super, super fast. Um, you will be linked, I'll link this thread down below, but, but, bizarre side story, new Moonlight pack, the most important thing though, Moonlight Lydica, and what a, what a thing to get before going to bed, I mean, let's, let's take a look here before we go into her skills, um, look at this, look at this smug face right here, just, mmm, delicious, so good. Just know your place trash. And here's some icons, but this is the best. Oh my God. Yes. So uh, yeah, uh, this is going to be an absolute guaranteed pull. I literally haven't even looked at her skills yet, but we will be pulling for this without question, without question at all, because this S3 is just glorious but let's get into it uh faithless lydica striving for a new life while on the run after being taken into a cult at a young age and enduring a childhood of suffering faithless lydica finally manages to escape and is now on the run naturally this experience has given her a skepticism towards religion and a hatred of fanatics so gotcha line who am i hmm you're better off not knowing Class is going to be Ranger. She's going to be Light, which is good because I farmed the crap out of Light Altar because I knew that this was coming. Big brain plays. Not only that, but we haven't had a Moonlight Ranger in a while. Yeah, I don't think we have a five-star Moonlight Ranger at all. I'm, I actually don't think so. Um, but regardless, so we got a Light Gemini. Um, went through the faces, went through the skill icons here. Camping lines. You know what? We're going to just go through here um devotion skill is going to be attack uh for all uh, a little meh but you know what it's fine self-devotion is going to be effectiveness that's not bad depending on like how much you need it uh, a lot of times overlap of attack uh is nice but we'll see so let's see camping topics blah 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 got your stats here typical stats Thorn, this is going to be your first skill here. Attacks with a sword with a 60% chance to decrease hit chance for one turn. That's not bad. You can get uh, what, 5, 10, an extra 15% on that. Although this says effectiveness, plus 5% effectiveness. So we'll see if that's actually effectiveness or if that's chance. It'd be really interesting if it was effectiveness, actually. So anyways, Larkspur, this binds all enemies with her sword with an 85% chance to dispel one buff, increasing the caster's combat readiness by 25% per target. This skill cannot trigger dual attack. So if you hit this on four targets, you basically just get another turn because 25% per target, that's quick maths here that's a hundred percent that's that's a hundred percent 25 percent per target um is is 100 percent so that's literally a second turn so anyways hysteria is her last skill this attacks and the enemy indiscriminately increasing skill cooldown to max ignores effect resist on soul burn you do have a 1.4 uh, 0.95 on that so it attacks the enemy indiscriminately, increasing skill cooldown to max. The first off, that's insane. Um, but does it attack all of them? Is this basically Judge Kisei's S3 on steroids? Because basically she might as well just be Ranger Ranger um, Judge Kisei now. Because your S2 is going to dispel buffs. It's going to increase you to 100%. You're going to get to go next and you hit a hysteria. So they're debuffed. You hit a hysteria and get, get wrecked. All of your cooldowns are max. It's not one or two or three turns. It's literally, you got hit. You, you're go, You're done. You're done. Let's call it a day here. So not only that, her first skill is kind of mediocre, but the second and third skills are 
absolutely insane. I am very, very hyped for this. Absolutely. I think that if you, uh, she's going to be an insane cleaver, put, um, Rengar's drink on her, which is already busted, make her super, super thick, give her a decent amount of effectiveness. And I think that you are going to be really hammering it out. Actually, that's not bad. Her, uh, her self-devotion, the effectiveness, that would mean that you could easily increase your effectiveness up to a very viable point without sacrificing crit damage or attack damage, meaning that she can be a carry sweeper cleaver and have enough effectiveness to trigger off that third skill. So that's going to be really, really interesting. I am super excited to pity this on Mystic Summons because that's just how Mafia works. I do wish they would reset the Mystic Summons right now because I may have bought all of them to roll for Maid Chloe. But regardless... I am absolutely going to be pulling for this character. I think she's going to be very, very strong. If you are close to pity in mystics, 100% pick this up. I think that she is going to be just judge Kise on steroids. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Thanks for uh, the data miners getting this out. Um, you fiend throw away on both of those, like just stellar work. You, you guys are, you are phenomenal, and I heart you a lot for bringing me these things. Uh, not only that, but the next banner, I think there was a, the next banner on here as well. Uh, but we do get the Bizarre side story, so I think it's going to just be Bizarre, which a lot of people are probably going to pick up Bizarre because it's, well, his side story. So, easy peasy. But, um, yeah, that's that's what I saw in here. And, uh, yeah, guys, I just, let's just take a look at that again. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments and I'll catch you later. Take it easy, homies. Peace. Ow,